Tony LeCantra and I'm at the Low Emissions Conference here at the Western in Perth and I'm joined today by Mr Brandon Munro from Bannerman Resources. G'day Brandon. Hey Tony, how are you? Good, good, good. Uh, you're one of the key commentators on the uranium industry probably in Australia. I know a lot of people follow you. So let's talk about the potential price impact to the upside in uranium. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're in a really interesting situation at the moment because We've had fundamentals trying to push a very stubborn spot price for some time. And as, you, as you've seen yourself, I've been following that macro very closely over the last two years. And now finally with supply disruption over the last six months in particular, that stubborn spot price has been shifted. And what that's done is that's made space for sentiment to start playing a role. And we're really starting to see the impact of sentiment primarily through physical investors such as Yellow Cake, Uranium Participation Corp and others coming into the market buying physical uranium, pushing the price up which then creates this cycle of generating a new round of positive sentiment. Yeah, well the sector got fukushima as we like to call it which is very unfortunate but I guess and the other thing was the 60 minute story that aired a few weeks mm -hmm, ago mm -hmm. and saying look Australia should go uranium. So. Now you're with Bannerman Resources, now how can investors besides actually get exposure to the sector and is your stock, how suitable is your stock for that exposure? Well it's a good question because getting exposure to uranium is not particularly easy. We've had such a deep and long bear market in this sector that so many of the companies have fallen by the wayside. Um, at its height during the last uranium boom, the sector was worth something like $12 billion and there were more than 500 companies. Now we're talking about a couple of billion dollars, in including the real, real big guys, and maybe a dozen active uranium producers, of I guess, which a handful yeah. are on ASX. I guess at that, because I was active during the uranium bubble, and you had 500 companies, but 495 weren't real. I guess it's a bit of a fad jump, and I know that you have remained steadfast on, on the mm -hmm. sector. So I guess now, what are going to be the catalysts at Bannerman? What, what provides the upside? Well, we've Interestingly, we don't have the same sort of risk-based catalyst that many companies have. We've done all of the drilling, we know exactly what our resource looks like, we've done all of the feasibility work, we've done a demonstration plant which means that we've tested and trialled the way that we'll process. And uh, so for us, it's really a case of maintaining our capital base that we've got and positioning the company as best as we possibly can for when the sector turns a little bit further. So pretty much you're ahead of the curve and the old saying, build it and they'll come. So where, where can investors follow you? Because I know your commentary is probably the one of the best I've read. So where can investors follow you? Oh, thanks Tony, that's very good. That's alright, I speak the truth. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, great, I'll take that. Yep. Uh, so they can follow me on LinkedIn. Yep. Uh, that's probably the primary place where I publish the more in-depth analysis. Yep. And in, uh, investors should realise that the analysis that I'm publishing is designed to fill a gap. Yep. I'm not trying to give people the one on one about uranium. There's lots of really good people doing that at the moment. I'm trying to provide in-depth insights and analysis for people who want that additional layer of understanding, who really want to position themselves well to understand this sector. So LinkedIn is one thing. They can contact me through investors at bannermanresources.com.au. And, do, you, uh, do you tweet? I do tweet, yes. yeah. Yeah, tweet, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a reserved tweeter. A reserved tweeter. I'm, I'm a shy tweeter, but I so, do tweet. You can find me on Twitter. And that's under your real name? It, it's under my real name. Yeah, actually, real me, under my real name, yeah. speaking real things. All right, so you can't swear or go off or say something stupid. So. Uh, well, I haven't experimented with that yet, but I'll okay. see what happens. All right, all the best. Great, thanks, thanks. Danny. No worries.